Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Today is a sad day. I heard that Simbin have gone bankrupt. Oh dear, I feel so sad about that. Really. Um, I've used their games a lot. Over the past maybe 10 years or so, the racing games. So it makes me feel so sad. Anyway, I thought I would go back to some old school Simbin Race 07. I've got the retro pack installed. Race event, I'm going to do a hill climb. I'm going to use one of the retro cars. Ooh, what should we use? Retro Max. Chevrolet, maybe? So, let's have a look. Oh, 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 what a beast. I think that's a bit too much of a beast for me. The BM. Here we go. BMW. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So, yeah, it really is a shame, I say with a heavy heart, that uh, they've, you know, filed for bankruptcy. However, I have heard rumours that they will be coming back under a different name. So, essentially, their parents company has gone bankrupt, you know, has decided they will pull the plug. However, it would appear they have got some other way, some other funding. So apparently race room experience will carry on. But still, it's, it's obviously a sign that they're losing quite a lot of money and not exactly do, performing that well. And by the way, I haven't practiced this at all, so... I haven't played this game for, for about three years at least, if not more. So uh, the uh, the gameplay is not supposed to be like good. I just thought this would be a good way for us to reminisce about the good times of Simbin because I think that is the whole thing. Like back in the day when they had these kind of games, Race 07 was awesome. Like back in the day, and actually still today. I mean, you look at this. This was one of the expansions. Well, actually, this is one of the, the later expansions for Race 07. So, the cars that they were making were really nice. The handling was nice. Of course, feedback was nice. They were awesome, awesome games. So, it's just a shame they kind of lost their way. Like, Race Room Experience, why did they choose to go down the route of Race Room Experience? I don't see... Well, I mean... In a way, I, I can kind of see what they were thinking. They were thinking, oh, like, that they can make a lot of money from a, from a free-to-play style game because in a lot of other areas of the video game industry, free-to-play games with microtransactions are doing very well. Uh, so I, I can see why, but I just think because the games that they make simulator games and I just feel that a lot of people in that genre whoopsie, a lot of their their customers I don't think will, are very happy with the idea of microtransactions uh, although you could argue iRacing in a way they do have that kind of system where you have to buy the cars and tracks but this was a free to play game with uh, the, the, the idea of uh, only having a few tracks and cars free and everything else you have to actually pay for with microtransactions. So yeah, I've, clearly I don't think it worked out for them. But I'm not so sure that it was the free-to-play model that that uh, was their downfall. I believe that it, it was more the fact they were a bit slow on the uptake with things like the tyre model. In my previous videos of Race From Experience and also of DTM, they were actually pretty pretty good games, but they were just lagging so far behind with the uh, the tyre models. The tyre models was really not very good. If you know the, the competition out there these days, like I Racing and Set of Course at R Factor Two, they all have got amazing tyre models, and yet Race Room Experience seemed to be using a tyre model, which was not much of an improvement from say Race. 07 like what I'm driving right now is not that far off what race room experience has been offering certainly in the, the times that I tried it and I believe that 
they were a bit too late on the uptake. I do believe they're trying to address the issue of the tyre model. They've also addressed multiplayer fairly recently, but I think it's all just a bit too late, really. I think they released it and it was out for quite a long time with that uh, not very good tyre model and stuff like that. Um, how do I do replays? Any way for me to do a replay here? I thought there would be. Replays? I don't see a replay. Oh well. Oh, race monitors. We can monitor other drivers. I haven't played this game for such a long time, so you have to excuse me. Here we go. Whoa, he's in one of those. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Let me not. Oh, so I can't have it inside view. Maybe I can, but I just can't work. I can't remember how to do it. But yeah, so it really is a shame. But um, race room experience, like I said, the rumours are that they are going to reform under a different name with different funding. And hopefully they can move forward with race room experience and make it, you know, really good and kind of claw back some of the ground that they have lost. Because, you know, in the past few years they really have seemed like they have lost their way up. I'm not sure if that was the owners, like the old owners or the bankrupt or the owners that have just kind of given up on the, the funding of the company maybe they were interfering kind of too much with what they were making and stuff like that because they did actually come out a while back saying that gtr3 was was in development they had a website they had screenshots they had audio like sh showing amazing audio and stuff so i don't really know why they um chose not to then go first down the GTR 3 route because I believe if they'd gone down the GTR 3 route which is more of a traditional route of just a game that they have done in the past um, then I would say maybe they would have had a bit more success with the GTR 3 if they had done that first got that out looking really good graphically and you know of course if they got a, a better time model and I'm pretty sure that GTA GTR 3 would have done really really well but they had chosen to go with the race room experience route and yeah I just feel they have had lost their focus I mean to be fair they did have a bit of a reputation anyway of, of milking their IPs like Raso 7 they were making DLCs for that for many many years right up until it was you know a very aging game um, yeah so they do have a little bit of a history of kind of milking the DLC the download stuff okay so um, if you have watched this video right to the end you have got a treat guys you have got a treat I'm gonna run a, com a competition for race room injection or race injection I'll put a link in the description it's a, a Simbin game so I'm gonna offer you guys who are feeling very sad about the demise or the apparent demise of, of Simbin an opportunity to enter a competition to win race injection um, all you have to do is make a comment which says the name of the current CEO of Simbin and if you have the correct answer I will do a randomized thing and I will choose someone at random from the comments to get a copy of Race Room Injection. Basically it's a Steam key so I will send you the Steam key you just have to activate it on Steam and you will get Race Injection. It isn't called Race Room Injection, so like that. It's just called Race Injection. So thank you for watching this video. Maybe you're feeling as sad as I am about the whole Simbin thing, but hey, it might actually be a good thing. They might be able to get new funding, maybe refocus their business and 
come out fighting again because it is a very competitive market at the moment like I said with the, with the likes of a set of course of our factor 2 and iRacing which are all pretty amazing okay guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye